Won't worry too much. This one has floated in now up their rise and capably dealt with there at the back by Jack Lynch. And Treaty come away. And Stephen Christopher pops up on their right side for them. Good interplay here. Looking for movement. And eventually the ball is swung in, in the direction of Kieran Hanlon. And it breaks for Mark Ludden. Ludden again into the box. The rise. Lynch tries to get ahead to it. Oh, it comes to the back. That was floated in. Took a deflection. Stephen Christopher with the shot. And the ball deflected away. Much to the relief of Larkin Healy there. What well, early signs the treaty mean business. Yeah, excellent. Good ball in. And I don't know the Jack Lynch missed. Swinger, Ty Ryan gets a fist to it out to the edge of the box. That one is pumped in. And yeah. just over the top. And Mark Ludden thinking about an early free kick here. Ludden pumps it in. You see, do you deal with it comfortably at the back? Latched on to by Keane. Treaty can build again. Nice ball in the direction of Red Hanlon. Stephen Christopher with the shot on the volley. Clyde O'Connell tries to uh, turn, finds the uh, ground a bit slippy, but the ball is with Stephen Christopher having been set up by Mark Ludden. Pumps it into the middle. Worked the shot, I wonder. Clyde O'Connell thinks so. Always rising as it goes over uh, Larkin Healy's uh, crossbar. Uh, near post. Jack Lynch has arrived there. Stephen Christopher is trying to draw out the uh, UCD players. Good lofted ball in. Shades of a handball in the box. It's driven in. Oh, my word. That one took a deflection. Up to his head there. He knew he should have gambled on it. Nice flick on from Jack. It was a good flick on. And these are the things I'm sure they've worked on. So you're looking around thinking, yeah, you know where it's going to go. Good ball from the end here. Shots on. Stringing low. And certainly Larkin Healy was glad to see that go outside. Yeah. Either side, like, is it going to be a challenge, a, a slip that's going to cause the referee to, to think long and hard, or uh, another dangerous position now for a treaty to defend? Doyle is going to laugh this one in, Paul Doyle. It comes Ty Ryan. Oh, my word! That looked like an error by Ty Ryan from that free kick from Paul Doyle. And it's found its way to the net. And uh, Ty Ryan will be very disappointed with that. Coming as it does in the 34th minute. Claimed that he wasn't being protected by the, uh, by the uh, Treaty United keeper. The referee was well positioned. Yeah. Didn't seem to give, uh, no. give any kind of consideration to it. Immediately pointed to the halfway line. So Paul Doyle with the opener there. And I think um, probably something that UCD had been working on. The ball was floated in with the intention of maybe be looking to work a corner or work a draw from there and you you just you, you give away possession by just being sloppy and careless and, it, and here we are now on the defence again here's Whelan Whelan that ball seemed to be stuck to him a nice attempt there just uh, coming in from Liam Kerrigan indeed and then into the box Good control in there by Whelan. Throws himself at that particular one here. It falls for Doyle. Doyle gets it onto his right peg. Soft effort in the end, but uh, Colin Whelan going down there like a sack of spuds. I know, and out of nowhere now, we haven't seen this in Tig in, in the whole season. Just been fairly wary about balls coming into the box. But, this uh, one comes in. Well met back there by Mark Walsh. Comes in again. Mark Ludden it is who gets his head to it and... Uh, there's an interference to Tiger and I think he had it covered at his near post but uh, UCD sir Evan Ozam good header by Lynch here's McSweeney now gets a touch too it does well Clyde O'Connell out to Jack Lynch ball stuck under his feet Lynch gets it to Keane Keane now puts one into the box Good defending back there by UCD again. But here's a chance for Tweedy. That one is spun in. Coming from Sean McSweeney. Always going away from Larkin Healy's left hand. Costrain is going to come on. And, and Willie Armshaw for the final 14 minutes. So Tommy Barrett emptying the bench. He's prepared to, uh, to 
go in and Willie Armshaw has had sensational impacts as a substitute put home and away for Treaty United here's Stephen Christopher one suspects he might be leaving the action and uh, maybe he knows that he gets this one into the box there's a chance oh my word oh my word that looked as if it was going and here's Armshaw again gets a touch McSweeney does well that's into Jack Lynch Jack Lynch decides to have a go Treaty now beginning to pepper uh, the UCD defence and the UCD calm head of Jack Keeney back there to slow things down and look for Colin Whelan up front and what a front man he is every time that ball is sprayed up to him he takes the sting out of it brings others into the action Ozam here's Doyle there's Ozam again movement inside from him and eventually it's with Colin Whelan back there is Sean Gearns gets it away to Willie Armshaw can't control it at the first attempt and it's back there at the back for Harvey O'Brien to put it forward out to this left hand side to Doyle Doyle looks for a run and gets a run as well and difficult times here could this be a second it is a second from Colin Whelan and you can see the way he picked that out a goal poacher supreme the ball was spread in by Harvey O'Brien into the left hand side it was taken on it looked like by Liam Kerrigan and setting up Colin Whelan and that's a decisive goal in this yeah. contest uh, Tommy Absolutely. and it was a good finish it was a great friends. finish but if we've just come on done Joel Strange just come onto the pitch and uh, just didn't switch into tracking back and was always two yards behind his man and when he cut it back there uh, Whelan just turned up and up his body and uh, a great finish I mean you, you can't say anything else but uh, again Treaty haven't helped themselves or forcing things and uh, picking the hard option it hasn't come off and it ends up now instead of us being down in their box they have a corner here yes and uh, that one came off a UCD player looked like Sam Todd but just went Jack Lynch looks for the ball gives it back to Fleming Fleming inside to Lynch. Lynch has to move it over to the middle of the park to Anto O'Donnell. Anto O'Donnell drills on forward for Willie Armshaw. Willie Armshaw gambles on this one, but Evan Farrell gets ahead to it and clears it. But again, Treaty can come with second ball, and this one is over to the right side. Here's Castrain. Castrain cuts inside on his left leg, takes a little bit too much out of it, and it's broken up by UCD. And Gearns takes that one from Clyde O'Connell. Ant O'Donnell will pump it forward. And that one is out to the right to Fleming. Does well, takes the sting out of that one. Gives it back to Clyde O'Connell. Clyde O'Connell pumps one over to the left hand side. No one there for Treaty United. Evan Farrell gets ahead to it. Not the cleverest of headers, but eventually uh, Treaty can get back on it. And uh, Dean George doing well there. And a, eventually a shot coming in with no great venom on it from Jack Lynch. Didn't get to the third minute of the additional four that have been added on but uh, Tommy you'd have to say hats off to UCD they've put in an accomplished performance tonight they're away from home they've got two goals can they get a third one here Whelan it looks as if he's going to and that wraps it up super finish from Whelan long ball out from Larkin Healy and three